Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great, feeling great, and this reading finds you well. So today's reading is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general reading, Gemini. We'll be looking at some of the energies going on in your love life right now within and outside of you. Now, of course, not all things picked up seen or comes out in this reading today will resonate or make sense. And if it is your energy that is coming through strongly and it's one that I'm picking up intensely at this time, just know I have no control over that either. And just what comes out, comes out, and I'll read it to you the way it is coming out. And if there's anything you guys like to ask, you can at the end of this reading go ahead and direct it to my email if you wish to consult the cards for yourself. I have a lover special for only $33.33, but let's get to this reading. All right, Gemini, what's going on right now within you? What's going on right now outside of you? This is going to be for the first half of November from the 1st through the 15th, if I haven't already said. Okay, I feel like your cards are almost ready. Sometimes I feel like I go on tangents with things just because I'm trying to wait for the cards. Um, I usually get like this. Like, okay, yeah, that's right instead. But now I'm not getting it. Okay. So they're going to help me out with it. Perfect. <clears throat> Okay, why is this coming out at this time? Gemini, what is it, something you need to know? What happened in your recent or distant past? Where's your focus? What do you wish to see? What do you want? And what's coming towards you? How are you currently feeling about this situation and them? And that's in your environment at this time. And what's your outcome? Let me get another card for what's coming in for Gemini. Thank you. Oh, Gemini. Okay. This is a love reading for sure. Okay, your bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so this whole reading right now, Gemini, what you're thinking, feeling, what's going on right now in your energy is we have some suspicions of something or someone where others have suspicions here of you. What I'm really getting here is you feel like your person's getting away with a lie or you feel like they're hiding something, not telling you, and you still have reasons to believe or doubt that they're coming at you with the full truth and with true and, you know, genuine intentions. Whether or not that was true in the recent or distant past, it looks like there's something. You guys could have a rift going on right now in the present moment, and... I feel like you're trying to figure out and decide, can we get past this? You know, there's something that happened here. It's really loud and clear. It's like something you see, you have no doubt. It's like, it's bam, maybe there were suspicions here, but they're justified now. Because you have actually found the truth or maybe caught somebody red-handed. Maybe it really you know, caught this person or maybe have really confronted this person with what you believed is true when you caught them in the act. So it's difficult here. In the recent or distant past, I see here you also was juggling with this decision with what to do, but wanting to make a logical, logical decision about it. And that's if maybe if you guys are married, kicking them out. If you guys are still together trying to figure out are you guys going to separate, live separately, or what's coming to it. But I feel like there's still a little bit of communications here. It's just, it's very, hey, what's going on? Nothing. Cool. How are you? How are things? Yeah. You know, it's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> a little bit of that going on, like, a little bit of, like, I don't know what to talk about right now because, you know, we're just, there's something, you know, we just, uh, we're trying to play it off like there's no, you know, white elephant in the room. It, there is. Your thoughts on the situation here, I, I get that, Gemini, you do want this situation to work out. But you also kind of are leaving your options open. There's probably somebody here who just um, came up and randomly showed up in your life who you kind of have a little bit of interest in. I'm going to take a look at that one. Now, how you guys are currently feeling why all of this is happening right now, well, I do see here, Gemini, this person that I'm being shown who you're going to have, who's going to be interested in you, I do get that there's something kind of growing or there's something there between you both. And this is why for somebody here coming towards a particular person is the world reverse. Interesting. Because you might be giving your chance to somebody else and the person who has done you wrong, you are cutting them out. But see, you are still a bit conflicted. So right now, this whole situation here shows that you might be even telling this new person, but you might be explaining to them it's complicated. That's kind of where you're at. It's not you, it's them telling somebody here that. But I feel like with this energy, I can't, haven't even flipped this one over, and it's really telling me there's someone who just randomly popped up in your life. Could be a neighbor, could be someone close to you, but this person does show right now some interest in on you. And I see here the bond deepens and grows, and I see here you're going to kind of entertain it for a little bit. How this person that's coming into your life will feel? Well, they're going to feel like you might not be willing or wanting to give them a chance. Maybe because of this hold up here that you have to another person isn't exactly cleared up or in a way. You don't exactly know where you stand. Are you divorced? Are you separated? Are you still working on things with them? Besides it's just being complicated, how do we uncomplicate things? And I feel like that's the energy that they'll be carrying because they'll be wanting to go in this relationship with you. And I do see here there's going to be a little bit of competition as a result. <laughs> okay, it's telling me a very, very straightforward reading. Gemini, this could be you, or this could be your person. Okay. <clears throat> but I do see here there's going to be a choice who is it who will you give this chance to will you give it to this person this king of cups person cancer Scorpio Pisces this person who looks like you were with for a good amount of time I've been talking to for a good amount of time you know there's definitely history between you both but it's not looking the slightest pretty right now you guys all have swords here all swords and no cups. The only cups that I'm seeing here is this new person. Kind of flirts with you or who you flirt with. They ask if you're single, available. Maybe you tell them it's complicated right now. And they just don't let off. They um, come at you and they are wanting to get to know you. But they might feel a little bit disheartened or maybe... Um, may actually give up, Gemini. Because they feel like maybe you're not too ready. Maybe you're still stuck on this person. You really want to get back with them. When in fact you are confused. And if it's not you, it's them. Okay. And if it's not your reading at all, Gemini, you're like, no, I love the person that I'm with. And I'm not confused about my partner at all right now. We're doing good. It's not your energy. Because this is a very, very straightforward having a choice between two men or two women. And somebody new coming into their life and this gives them a sense of joy and like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm liking this. Someone's noticing me. I'm, li I'm liking this new relationship. You know, this is that feeling here of getting, having, you know, your, your, your feelings tickled a little bit. And then in the environment show that this person might actually give up. 
okay? It might feel like you might not really, you're not really all about this. For however long this has been going on, somebody here is like, okay, I'm not seeing any improvements. You keep telling me you're leaving. We're going to do something about this. Or you're unhappy, but here, how do we uncomplicate things? Because someone's just making it more complicated and it's not doing anything I see in the end like a drama series we get competition we get people coming out like wait what i found out what okay so this person's in where what we have a little bit of that going on okay you could be competing for someone's love or affection or there could be competing for yours there's a little bit of competition here like feeling a bit jealous or like oh i'm gonna get him i'm gonna get her or, you know, I'm going to make them jealous or I'm going to make him jealous or her jealous. Somebody here is actually literally feeling a bit jealous seeing you with somebody else or you seeing somebody with somebody else or them seeing you with someone else. Yeah, yep, yep. <clears throat> okay, King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a third party situation. Someone has feelings on the other person. We do have um, joy. We do have getting together. It looks like it's going to get pretty sexy, pretty hot between you and this person. There is not obvious chemistry here between you and this person. And someone is going to come out the winner. And see how I laid right here this whole situation in the past? Someone really did mean, like, I cannot get out of this. I feel stuck by it. This is overwhelming. I feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home. I want out of a relationship, out of a marriage, out of a commitment. I, you know, that's why I was getting, I kept getting like, well, uncomplicated. And I feel like this person's going to do it. Because we see just a sense of victory in the end. This person who wants to give up, not sure if they're going to get up and go and leave you because someone who really really sincerely loves you they feel like you're not noticing them because your attention is still on this or you haven't exactly fully decided which one you're going to pick or that's probably in fact maybe how you're going to feel do you feel about them like well give up all of your options you know change and show that you want to fight for me be with me love me you know instead of talking about it showing up calling me about these things like you know it's it's not about it's not about words it's about actions here i see here someone's gonna do that that's the point that i was getting to you know because they want this with you gemini i love your reading we have working together teamwork makes the dream work okay we have a couple of signs that dropped in we have cancer we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we have Taurus, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Cancer, Scorpio again, and we have somebody wanting to, you know, own up to something, make something right with somebody about something. If you want to look into the situation, this is some really weird energy with someone. It says somebody here is being left. Someone's not being given this chance with the world reverse. It came out in reverse. This is an ending a cycle completion, but someone's not. Someone's also being blocked. There's a reconciliation all over this reading. Gemini, I feel like with that Seven of Swords, Two of Swords energy, and you making a head over heart decision not to talk to this person right now may in fact be really good for you, you know? I'm all about, honestly, I'm all about moving on and not letting the past hold you back. But sometimes when 
we are moving on and we're still thinking about this one particular person not just the relationship we had but and what it gave to us but how you felt so much with this person you still feel it now maybe you're not in fact completely over this person you're not really ready to move on as much as you think you are and neither is this person because I feel like there are still some unfinished business that you have with this person here even though there are going to be other opportunities coming up I do see a rejection someone turning away um, somebody and what trumps this whole reading right now is that there is competition someone will find out here someone will kind of compete find themselves competing it's like someone try to win you back you know it could be trying to do that right now or you could be trying to do that right now and I do see whoever it is that does it yeah look at that two cups six of cups and an accomplishment is is this is this person i think you love this person a lot gemini i don't see that you will actually give up what you have right now for somebody else even if they do come along and you do kind of have feelings for them and this whole thing is like i am You know, maybe I will, something will happen with this new person. Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, you know, I'm just kind of living my life, making friends, nothing serious. We're just, you know, having a good time right now. We're still getting to know each other. We're not really seeing dating or not really in a relationship, but we're talking kind of vibe. But you're wanting a commitment, though, at the same time. But this commitment, you still feel committed to this person, or at least maybe not on paper or legally. Emotionally, you still feel this is your person, the one that hurt you, the one that did something to you, the one where you had a falling out with. Somebody here moved out, moved on. Both of you guys could be living in different areas, city, state, country. There are still a little bit of communications here. It looks like you guys still communicate every once in a while. But this whole reading here is telling me you guys both, or at least they still, even though they might not look like it, they're with their friends. I don't know if they have roommates. It's a bunch of guys or they have two, two roommates, men or women. They have two close friends. <clears throat> This person looks like they um been trying to talk to their friends like what do I do? And you guys are both kind of being told by your friends or your peers or your family to move on. So they're telling him or her like yeah, you guys just just you know, just be done with it. It's toxic. Just date other people. Go out. Let's go out. Both of you guys here shows that you guys both feel the world reverse with each other. The situation here is like regardless of how much you guys both try to move on, it looks like they are both, you guys both um, feel like, you know, it's still this person. And so, yeah, this person will date, this person will go out, this person will, you know, entertain, um, some people but that's an interesting thing that this person who comes in is the ten of cups so there's two ways about this I wouldn't say there's two ways about this but since it's a general reading I'm gonna keep it as general as I can I do see that this person loves you for sure they try to move on from you, but they can't, for sure. You also are trying to maybe move on from this person, maybe entertaining other prospects, but maybe not finding anything right now because you're still kind of wondering about that last situation. 
next person you may have a child together for some of you it's not all true but I get that you guys I mean even though you're liking you know this new thing this new feeling of attention and all eyes on you and maybe going out and just seeing what's out there I feel like you are very still connected your feelings are all connected you guys are all connected here to the moon so your feelings here both you and this person right now is like I don't know what the to believe what I want but I see at the very end of it this is enough to convince me and tell me alone that you guys are coming back together whoever this is Gemini who you were at a distance from this is making up and saying yeah I'm sorry for what I did um I can't see my life without you kind of thing you know but not not because I haven't tried lord knows I have tried <laughs> okay but um I, I really, you know, just, I feel like you two just, I, it's like, I can't live with you, can't live without kind of energy. Someone's coming back. There is competition here. The decision here is either going to be made by you, the cross watcher, or your person. Someone here is getting out of a third party situation. There is going to be, you can bet from this reading, someone's letting go of the option. Someone's letting go of the option. They can't, they can't, it's, it's too backbreaking. They can't keep these two options here, you know. They're going to let this one of them go. They're not going to keep going on this uphill battle, uphill struggle. He's going to break his back doing it, you know. So um, there's two, 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 two energies here from this person. I told you it was a third party thing. One of them is going to get let go. If you guys want to look into this reading, Gemini, we can. Hopefully this made more sense to you than it did to me, but this was a lot of fun. Um, definitely really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any questions, want to look into the energy specifically, I have questions about it, go ahead and email me. I have a lover special for $33.33. Can't beat it. All right, Gemini, I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. And thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this helped. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.